Hi everyone, welcome to my studio this afternoon. Um, just going to show you one or two of my paintings um, and talk about a little bit about um, how they were produced, um, perhaps a bit about the materials. Um, the main thing is that very shortly I've got a, a watercolour landscape course coming up um, and it's all being set up at the moment. Uh, but in the meantime, um, I will obviously keep you posted um, as soon as it gets up online. It's an online course that will be uh, for beginners and improvers, you know. Um, it will be for beginners, uh, so we will start off at the grassroots of, of uh, painting uh, in watercolour. Um, but there will be lots there for the improver or the, uh, the person that would like a bit of a refresher course really um, so that's coming up very soon um, and I'll keep you posted on that um, but in the meantime I um, just want to show you a couple or a handful of my uh, paintings that um, I think um, you know the sorts of things that well we won't be covering but the techniques that um, that are required uh, now we start off with a tonal sketch like that I think you can see that pretty well um, and we end up with a painting like that now the bit in the middle now that's the hardest part of the complete thing the drawing pencil work um, fairly easy to achieve you know um, but the painting side of things uh, well it's not as difficult as you would first believe. Um, it's all about tone, really, more than colour, particularly this one. And um, we've got very light areas, sky, uh, front of the building there, uh, the grass area, the, the, the roof area um, with the um, openings because it's an old building. But of course, against that, we've got the medium and very dark areas. Uh, and that's the thing that gives it atmosphere. Um, for instance, the light sky against the dark tree work and figure. Now, that's what makes that little section there work. It's the very thing that, um, that it's a simple, um, um, assumption that um, that everyone really can get hold of uh, it's a simple um, thing light against dark now the colors within that not really of any major importance so it really is the tone values of everything um, same with the building you've got the frontage and the roof but of course the, the um, the board work um, there um, you've got a lovely dark overhang um, um, shadow and um, doesn't have to be that dark you know um, but I've really give this one a bit of punch um, and also you can see the rafters but there is a piece of roof missing uh, so it's very dark inside that um, the tree has light areas at the top and within that there is dark areas that are tucked under the branch that are in the shade we've got a very dark area there but notice these little splashes of white it's all white paper it's all left as I paint um, not particularly planned but where they are you know you've got to judge a little bit how much little white areas you've got to leave or how many you don't need you know um, and of course lovely foreground shadow so that really is the sort of um, sort of thing that I'm hoping to put over um, in my forthcoming course um, so that's that one let's, let's just have a look at another one that I've got here um, just to give you a bit of an idea of um, I suppose this one I mean this is a this is very much a, more of a landscape as you can see 
Now this one <clears throat> is a bit different, a bit more of a landscape, um, sort of uh, with building. Um, this is one I painted in the um, in the in the North Yorkshire, um, more or less the Dales area, and uh, we're staying in a in a converted barn. Um, and I looked across the fields and could see the farm buildings and the farm cottage, and um, it was quite a quite a um, I suppose a wet and dry week. You know, we had a bit of sunshine, we had plenty of cloud. We also had some uh, rain, um, but of course within that were, you know, um, blue areas. So I want to try and capture that. And I think I have to a certain extent in as much as, you know, I've got dr dramatic sky. We've got the buildings. Um, we've got darks and lights, darks and lights, and then dark area for the hedging. Then we've got a light field dark in the foreground so it's tonal again um, colors in a more distant landscape are important you know and there's lots of reasons for that um, but these are the sort of things that I'm hoping to um, to demonstrate talk about um, and produce um, exercises for which those of you that need um, some form of uh, um, introductory course or even a refresher course um, that will be my main aim in the first um, watercolour landscapes made easy uh, video um, well it's actually going to be an online course so in as much as once you've purchased it you can then rerun stop go back um, run on um, and paint whenever you like really so it's not going to be particularly scheduled um, but that is up and coming very very soon um, well I say very soon I'm in the f filming process stage at the moment um, there's a bit of work to be done um, in the background um, but in the meantime um, stay tuned to my YouTube channel um, and um, I will be uploading more videos um, of my own um, purely demonstrations and um, if you've not already done so please click the link bottom right hand corner uh, you'll get notifications when I do upload um, videos and also I will keep you posted on my forthcoming landscapes made easy um, the watercolour landscapes made easy uh, and um, I'll keep you posted on that in the meantime happy painting and we'll see you all again very, very soon.